Hey guys, my name is Andy. I am back today to make another video. This one's going to be a little bit different than the other videos I've made in the past, whereas those were generally reviews or how-to videos, stuff that's kind of helpful. This is more just for entertainment and to answer the question, which someone did eventually ask, do you think an Ego Power Station could charge a Tesla? Now, I've heard before in the past people have tried gas generators and they've had issues with it. The reason for this is because the Teslas are extremely picky that they need a constant clean current to actually run. And if you know anything about generators, they can be pretty choppy. A lot of times they will provide a constant current, but it's not the cleanest. One of the big bragging rights that Ego has put out there is that they claim it is a true sine wave, which has been proven that it is, but still they claim that even the most sensitive electronics can run on this. Now in theory, this sounds like the Tesla will charge. I mean, if, if it's picky with current, this is supposed to be very, very clean. It's supposed to do a really good job of it. We're gonna find out today as I'm gonna kind of put it to the test got a couple different things that I'm going to run over here, kind of introduce the situation, what I'm going to do to try and uh, make sure this is as fair of a test as possible. And I'm just going to kind of run you through a very quick review of the Ego Power Station. Let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so over here on the workbench, I'm going to run you down everything we have here. I do want to apologize beforehand, as I know it's impossible to keep from a glare and a reflection on all this stuff. Tried every angle under the sun, I just cannot get it to work. So we're just going to work with a reflection for now. First of all, I do have an old phone that is set to a stopwatch. Everything's going to be in real time here. I'm only going to fast forward it to just make the video a little bit shorter, but I am going to run it during the entire time we're running. Second, I do have the Ego Connect app over here and it is saying what the charge of all the batteries are. Now the number one battery, it was charged up to 100%, but due to degradation, I've noticed very quickly it dropped down to 86% without even being used. That battery is the oldest, it is almost five years old, so that seems about right. The rest of them I charged up and almost instantly all of them dropped to the mid 90s. Again, this is due to battery degradation and you will have that with any batteries. Um, the Connect app, you will be able to see what the draw is. Supposedly, I'm hearing it's around 1,400 watts. So we will find out if that's accurate once we get started on the Ego unit itself. Uh, again, I'll go ahead and divert you back to the description to see our review. It will cover a lot more of this in depth. But very quickly, we are going to have the runtime here, which will also show up over here once we get running. Uh, this just shows that we have four batteries. This will show how much of the available power is being used. We have the three AC ports, uh, the four USB ports, and we are running the four 7.5 amp hour batteries, two older ones that are between five, uh, three to five years old in the front. These two new ones came last year with the uh, actual power station itself. So those should be running pretty sufficiently. Beyond that, we do have the Tesla charger that will be used. And then also, unless you've been living under a rock, you probably have heard of the Model 3, which is probably one of the most popular EVs in the last two years since it's been around. If you hadn't heard of it, you must not have a pulse because everyone pretty much in the EV community knows what the Model 3 is. I will be dealing with the dual motor version, which this is actually the performance version of the Model 3. It is rated for 250 uh, watt hours Per mile is roughly what it gets um, if you do the math it's about four miles per kilowatt hour is what you can expect um, I'm sure it's kind of sacrilege people will say but the car's filthy I apologize for that we'll go ahead and jump into some more of the details here shortly and then we'll go ahead and get this test underway now just to run over some of those details that I did mention that I wanted to run through real quick it kind of goes back to what I originally said at the beginning of the video this is supposed to be rated for 2000 watts continuous and it will put that out. However, to tell you how long I suspect this is going to run, my initial guess without even doing the math, again, I have not tested this myself. I haven't done any of this. This is the first time for me on everything. I'm going to guess somewhere between five to eight miles is how much we're going to get on these three batteries. Uh, the reason that I draw that number is, first of all, we have the four 7.5 amp hour batteries and they're going to be running together, obviously, so that gives us 30 amp hours. Uh, they run at 56 volts, so if you want to go ahead and get your wattage, you multiply volts by amps. If we go ahead and multiply those together, you do have 56 multiplied by 30. That gives you roughly, I think it's 1630, so uh, 1630 watts is what we should be getting. 
Um, in my previous video, I did run into the math as that as well, that Ego will only let you use 80% of the charge. They keep the bottom 20% as a reserve to keep from damaging the battery. So once they get down to about 20%, it will say that the battery is not registered. It will say it's dead, but it's not dead. Because of that reason, we now only have roughly, I think it's 1,344 watts of the 1630 that are even available to be used. Now, earlier I mentioned that I had read that supposedly this charger for the Tesla runs about 1400 watts once it's continuous. It might have some higher startup numbers, might be a little bit different here or there. However, that is supposed to be what it runs at. For that reason, as I mentioned, supposedly on a kilowatt hour, this is going to get four to five miles of range on a kilowatt hour. If it has the entire 1,344 watts that are available to run in these batteries and we can get every last drop out, we might be able to get six miles of charge roughly now that I'm doing the math, but we're going to find out in practicality if that's actually what happens. So again, if the math works out, it will probably be between four to six miles of charge. Maybe we'll run at five miles per hour of charge. And uh, I've seen it do that on regular AC current. We'll see if it pushes out the same thing when we're actually using a generator. So we'll go ahead and jump in here in just a second. We'll see if it works. Okay, so first things first to get this going. First of all, we're gonna open up the AC ports. We are going to plug it into the rightmost port. Now we'll go ahead and enable that port over here. It now shows that one of the ports is going to be running. And just instantly over here on the app, it tells you that not even pulling any current um, towards something, it's using five watts. Generally, I think that has to do with the fans in the back. You can very, very quietly hear them running. So I think it's just telling you that that is actually what you're getting is five watts or so roughly running there. So we'll go ahead and take the actual connector for the Tesla. Come on over here. Push the port and we'll go ahead and plug her up. Blue light flashing. I hear us cycling over here and our clock is starting. Time's adjusting. Takes off, fans are running on high. Calculating our watt load. 1431 is what we're currently running at. At that load, it is, as you can see, the time is still adjusting here. Telling us a little bit over an hour. And according to the gauge there, it is also telling us that this is about three quarters of what it can push out, which saying that it's actually running at 1400 watts and uh, it can push 2000, that's about right. It's just about three quarters. And uh, this is normal on the power station. It will continue to drop time pretty quickly at the beginning, and then it levels off as it figures out what the power draw is going to be. So, running at just over 1400 watts. Let's check on in here, see what the Tesla says that we are doing. Four, yep, looks like four miles per hour of charge. Uh, bouncing between 100 and, or 113, 114 volts. Uh, it is running the full 12 amps. So, uh, success, I would say at least that the power station is running. Um, it is supplying current to it. Uh, it's only going to be about an hour worth of current. So, I guess you can take that for what it's worth. Uh, let's see what it, how our batteries are looking here from the start. 85%, 93, 96, 92. Yep. So, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, just put this in real time here in the background. Let's do a little bit of a fast forward. If I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do Is to save every day Till eternity passes away Just to spend them with you Alright guys, just checking in here. It looks like we're at about the halfway mark as far as 27 minutes left. 27, 
uh, in. So we're just gonna check in where we're at. Our batteries, uh, one of them only has 39%. Uh, the best has 57. Generally, they level off a little better. I'm a little surprised they are actually so mixed in here. And then if we go ahead and run over to the car and take a look, we are currently at, let's see here, still four miles of charge. Um, it is saying we have charged one mile. Oh, now just changed to two miles. Uh, still at 12 amps, 113, 114 volts. So... Uh, we are still just plugging along, I guess. Uh, we've made it two, two miles of charge in the first 27, almost 28 minutes. As I mentioned before, it's not looking like it's going to be a practical solution so far, but we are still running. So any of the naysayers that believe that the Ego products are not really durable, uh, I mean, it can kind of shush them up a little bit, but nonetheless, we are still moving. Uh, I'll check in here as soon as we're done. About another 25, 26 minutes left. Here we go, fast forward again. If I could make days last forever If words could make wishes come true I'd save every day like a treasure And then again I would spend them with you. All right, it looks like at about the 41 minute, 30 second mark, roughly, uh, we are now in a low power mode. It is still pushing out the current, uh, the 1,432 watts. However, it is no longer giving us a readout of how long we have. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. Okay, it looks like just before 45 minutes is where it has actually turned itself off. And literally in front of me, it went ahead and turned itself off right here. As we go up to the Tesla, we see that we got three miles of charge. Yep, that is how much we managed to get out of these all these batteries is three miles of charge through this whole thing. So to wrap up this video, we made it for almost 45 minutes on four of the 7.5 or 30 amp hours worth of power. Uh, we got three miles of range and keep in mind, this is with the Model 3, which is the most efficient of the three models of Teslas out there. I previously had a 2016 Model X. It was rated for 325 watt hours per mile. This is 250. So therefore, I think a Model X would not even get three, in theory. It would be lucky to probably get two miles of charge. So again, this was just for entertainment. This is not a slam to ego. This obviously was not d designed to do any of this stuff in general. I mean, you're not meant to charge a car. Cars generally use a ton of current when you're charging EVs. So again, not a slam to ego. Would I bank on it for anything unless you're a mile or two from your house and you run out of charge. I don't see any reason that this would actually be useful. So yeah, if you do the math, it did come in a little bit under where it was supposed to. By the numbers, I mean, I'm doing it in my head here real quick. 1,344 was pulling 1430. We probably should have gotten somewhere in the mid 50 minute window. Uh, 55, 57, something like that. Um, I kind of blame some of this on the first battery, which was very premature to go out. Uh, again, that was the one that started with a degradation of like 15% right off the bat. So, I mean, I don't think it could hold a full charge. I don't know how much that played into it, but that did drop our number a little bit. Um, I will admit that when I plug into the wall, the car routinely gets five miles per hour of charge. It was only doing four miles per hour of charge under this test. So instantly, I think that probably does mean not necessarily that the current wasn't as clean or as constant, but maybe not as strong. I mean, I think I saw it was uh, 113, 114 volts, and I'm believing when I plug in at our house, it's about 120 volts. So it is a little bit maybe underpowered there, but it did charge the car didn't end the charging. That's where I was surprised. I thought this unit was not gonna be able to 
push out a clean enough current for us to be able to do this, but clearly it had no problem with it within its battery life, which is very, very short for an electric car. Again, this car is somewhere between a 70 to 80 kilowatt battery, so it is a much, much, much larger battery than any of these handheld batteries are ever going to be. I didn't expect it to be able to charge a lot. Did it come in at or under my expectations? I expected it to probably be a little closer to like my initial guess, five to eight miles. But even when I do the math, that didn't seem realistic after the fact. Came in a little bit under where I thought. Uh, could have done more. I mean, probably if you had brand new batteries, not a whole lot more. So I just thought it was a fun video. Um, again, it's just kind of neat to see the two uh, different pioneering EV technologies. You got Ego, which is the equivalent of what Tesla has done for the auto market. They've done for kind of the yard work, outdoor work kind of market. Um, unlike companies like Ryobi, Black & Decker, some of those that make battery equivalents, they don't make any gas powered equipment. Ego is specifically um, electric only. And I really, I still stand by their products. I still buy them. Um, I mean, proof here, I got one battery that's almost five years old, and while it has degraded a little bit, you can see that it clearly still had enough current to be able to easily push through more than three quarters of this test. So anytime I use it in the snowblower, the mower, any of those, it does great. Um, love their products, continue to love them. Love the Tesla, it's a great car. Um, seeing the two work together was kind of entertaining, but again, doesn't really serve a real world purpose. This was just something probably to waste some time for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to mention below. Otherwise, I guess I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. It's it's too it's, short it's of too time. Short I have lots of time. time. I say time, time waits for no man. Waste of time. Wait a minute. Let's just take a little time. Time.